Greetings, my scattered brothers and sisters in the Lord. I trust you know the Lord is with you wherever you find yourself scattered today and that you know that his presence with you is more than enough for whatever you might face today. I've been thinking more about Jesus' call to the disciples. Uh, Come, follow me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. And so just a big question comes up. Who do we follow? You know, if you think about it, you know, the call is to follow Jesus. Is that who I'm, is that who I'm following with my life? Uh, we can follow after all kinds of things, but the call from Jesus is to come and follow him. I remember when Rachel, our daughter, graduated from Olivet Nazarene University. Uh, her major was athletic training, and we were meeting with kind of the, the head guy in her department, and he paid her the greatest compliment. He said that everybody knows who Rachel follows. And, of course, he was talking about Jesus. And so I kind of wonder, wow, could that be said over my life? Could that be said over your life? If people had to answer the question, you know, who do you follow or who does so-and-so follow, uh, would they say, yeah, it's obvious they follow Jesus? And that's what I want people to be able to say about me. That's what I want people to be able to say about every one of us, that it's obvious who we follow that we follow Jesus. And so kind of take a moment and take inventory. You know, who am I following? And then I think about what Jesus went on to say. I will make you to become fishers of men. That Jesus is going to do such a work in our lives as we follow him, that we are changed, that we are transformed, that Jesus turns us into uh, people that are, I don't know, attractive, that people want to know more about, that people are impressed with, um, in terms of our character, in terms of how we follow Jesus. And so it's not simply that I am going to send you out to be fishers of men. I am going to make you into fishers of men, make you become fishers of men. And so Jesus doing such a transformative work in our lives, that people want to know more. Why do you live the way you live? Why do you act the way you act? Why do you love the way you love? And so, you know, come, follow me. I will make you fishers of men. That as we follow Jesus, Jesus does something transformative in our lives to where people are attracted, actually attracted to Jesus because he's done such a saving work in us. And so wherever you find yourself scattered today, follow Jesus and allow him to do his transformative work in your life so that those around you, they want to know who is this one that you're following because you sure love way differently than this this world loves and you sure operate way differently than this world operates. Allow Jesus to transform you into a fisher of those around you that he might be praised that more people might start might start following him. Well, God bless. Have a great day. Follow closely.